food garden at Papatoitoi East School in South Auckland. It was created about a year ago. Take the roots and put them into the soil, dig down, and cover the roots up with the soil. There's several lessons. First of all, the need for healthy food and how we can grow it ourselves. We don't have to depend on shops to do it. I think the other thing is self-reliance, that they learn how to grow it, but also how to think problems through as they come up, you know, what we need to do in certain circumstances. And as you can see, the other thing that they learn, which is really important, is that gardening can be fun. I like it because we get to garden a lot and that's one of my hobbies. I really love gardening and I've been doing it a lot with my nana at home. I know that um, you can't water the garden too much, it might drown them. And I know that some plants can stay in winter and some plants can just die. This garden came about through the efforts of Paul Dixon, former project manager of a large UK corporate, when he found himself with the proceeds of a charity walk that he ended up organising by default. It was basically a few of the guys I was working with at the time wanted to do the Oxfam trail walk, but a couple of guys got sent to Singapore to do a project up there. So the team got decimated. So I said, oh, okay, Paul, you're the project manager. You can create our own event here in Auckland. I went, okay, I can do that. That was the beginning of the Head to Head Walk, a 24-hour team relay round the Manuko Heads, now an annual fundraising event organised by Orkie Charity. And that started in 2012. And initially we were doing the fundraiser and then handing out checks to non-profits. And then over the years, gradually came about the fact that oh, we could probably do our own charity. Part of that program isn't the actual building of the garden. And coming from a infrastructure building background, it kind of like sparked a bit of a passion for me, is that, okay, there's no one actually helping schools to build the gardens themselves. And then as we got building the gardens, we realized that, okay, there's more than just fruits and veggies from a garden. There's all the social skills and stuff. Today it's the turn of Weymouth School. And woohoo, look who's dropped in to help out. On behalf of our whānau, all the kaiako, and especially the tamariki, we welcome you today. We welcome your sharing of your knowledge not only in the football field, but out in the um, in the garden. Is this square? Healthy eating is vital for kids at, at, at this young age. So uh, you know, teaching them all about fruit and veg is uh, is a key component. And uh, you know, if we can uh, help out in any way, then we're, we're more than happy to. Learning of where they come from and and how they're made and um, the importance of it's, it's not man-made and it's, there's no chemicals here, it's, it's, all, it's all pure and I think that's going to be good learning for the kids and, and good for their bodies. The plan is to open the garden up to the community for the locals to work in and take produce from. Just getting the whole, the whole community vibing on it and so we'd be able to do a good job then if everyone's going to be here. And I don't have a food garden myself um, but my parents do and, and they, love, uh, they love their gardening so um, I think that's where I kind of get it from, is my parents. I grew up with it with my family and you know, they grew with their own tomatoes. My mum still does it now, so. Yeah, me and my partner got a little veggie garden at home, so I guess nowadays everything comes in a packet and um, you don't sort of get that uh, sense of, yeah, where it come from, comes from or how it's grown and it's a pretty, uh, pretty good skill to have, you know, to be able to um, you know, grow your own food. Engineers, <laughs> ladies? I'm sorry. 
It's phenomenal. I can't believe it actually that it's actually come to fruition because Melissa and I have been talking about it and talking about it, but to see it actually happening is just amazing. Melissa Utama is a parent and a board member at Weymouth School and a WasteWise facilitator for Talking Trash Manarewa. She's the driving force behind the inception of this garden. So pretty much it's a collaborative vision with the school and with the children have put their ideas forward as well and with the community as well, we've also asked the community. So it's really not a school garden, it will be a community garden. So the vision will be, it'll be holistic. So it'll be about the school using it as a teaching space, so an outdoor teaching space to come through and learn how to garden themselves and how to grow plants from seedlings and all those sorts of things, have competitions and it's really integrated throughout the school as well as teaching about waste minimisation. So they're going to be learning how to divert most of their waste. My vision will be now to get the right people involved that have the right information. So all the different people out there like Healthy Families who have been really cool to come along, um, Compost Collective, Gardens for Health, all these different organisations that are doing all the mahi that have all of the expertise, getting them in and I'd facilitate, um, yeah, they will basically engage and teach. It's kind of the beginning of our environmental sustainability project that we're doing here. Because when I think of like one thing, so we're a fruit and school school at the moment, so eventually the government's probably going to say no to that, so we want to make sure we can sustain that. So that's like one thing that we're doing. So we don't want to go too fast and leave everybody behind. So the first thing we did was Melissa and I started doing some brainstorming. Then we gathered together an environmental team of students. They had some input into the garden design. So they had a, we walked over here and we said, what would you like to see here? Currently they are having a look at all the rubbish bin system that we've got going because they don't think it's a good one. Well actually, they think it is a good system but the people aren't using the system properly. And it's really just trying to get them to know what we want to do first and then bringing every single class out and educating every class. Because it's not going to sustain if everybody doesn't come on board. So we have six teams at our school, starting from our juniors as our Moana team and then we move up to Te Awa and Papa and Maunga and Rangi and then Te Manu Tukutuku. So the six beds are for each team. And their idea is probably a bit of competition because kids love competition, healthy competition. <laughs> I love the whole thing and this is what this needs to be as well and this is what's ongoing about it is a place making space. So this is a place where people come and they actually get to feed in and say what they want from it. So they feel their ownership over wanting to look after it and it's actually, um, they feel like they belong here. Because everyone has something to give. There's people here today that I've never met before, like parents or whoever, and they've got these skills I didn't know and amazing for them to be able to give back to the school as well. So it's really just about everyone having ownership and feeling empowered, that's what I love, like yeah, empowering people to feel like they have a place and once you see people get empowered, it's just a beautiful thing. When my granddad was gardening in his allotments in the UK, it wasn't a hobby or it was a necessity after the Second World War, it was like we have to grow our own food because it's what's needed. To be honest with you, it's like that now. I mean, like, you know, we live in South Auckland and people are struggling. The struggle is real. It's massive out here, especially, it's massive everywhere, but when you see it and you're in the communities out here and you see people struggling to put food on their tables and lining up for, you know, um, food bank, people are constantly asking on Pay It Four pages for food. Please help us. We have nine children. We have nothing to eat tonight. And the way with climate change and that's going, there's going to be a need for these skills to come back. These people, if they want the food that they take for granted now, they're going to have to start growing it themselves in their own back garden. And what better place to start them in the school because you've got this epicentre for your community that they can learn all the skills and then take it back to their own homes. I don't know if you know the Weymouth community but there's only one way in and one way out. So we want to make this school the heart of the community. So this, this could be a one-stop shop for everything. This is just the beginning of our plan. So, you know, we currently have Plunkett on site so we're trying to make this a place where as parents, you don't need to hop in a car, you don't need to drive down the road, you just need to come here to Weymouth Primary and it will all be here. So the school is the heart of the community, so it's about bringing people in and making people feel comfortable here and learning and empowering and then it moves on and moves on. And Sani's awesome about empowering people. She empowers her staff to, you know, upskill and to move on and then to go and spread their knowledge in other places as well. And so that's the whole thing is it's just love that, love being able to not have control over everything, but to empower and see someone grow some wings and fly and have leadership and 
and then go, yeah, go for it. Like, it's, it's not about me, like, having that job or anything like that. It's like, yay, that's cool, do you want to take that? And they're like, me? And I'm, it's just a beautiful thing to see, yeah. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that came today. Um, you guys have just been immense. I mean, you only have to look at what's been made today to think this morning that was just one weeded area. And to think that that's now six garden beds, green ace, potting table, compost bins, all these trees planted. And we wouldn't have been able to do that without, it, without you coming along and supporting it. Job done.